Democrat Barack Obama is the nation's choice for the 44th president of the United States. He will be the first African-American to hold the nation's highest office when he's sworn in on January 20th. Sandra Endo is live in Chicago with the historic victory. Endo, back to you. Sandra, thanks so much for that report. Well, here it is on the front page, Obama rolls, and I'm sure that a lot of people have gotten a hold of this this morning, mm -hmm. and they're going to join Mark Peterson. He's at yep. Sherry's this morning. There is a buzz out there You've right now. You've got the USA Today headline. What's that read this morning, Mark? Obama wins. They have not voted for a Democratic president since 1964. Can you believe that? It is amazing, and uh, from what I understand, they picked up a Democratic Senate seat there as well yes. with the former governor uh, winning that, that race. So uh, that margin of victory is amazing. Did they experts expect it to be that wide? You know, I don't know if anybody could expect that. Uh, thanks so much, Colleen. Well, in the race for Congress in eastern Washington, Kathy McMorris Rogers, she earned a third term. She won 64% to 36% over challenger Mark Mays. In a victory speech last night at the Davenport Hotel, she acknowledged that Democrats are in control. <laughs> McMorris Rogers said her priorities in her third term will be the economy, energy, and health care. Well, the ballots are cast, but the work is far from done, folks, for the Spokane County Elections Office. There are still thousands of ballots to count. Elections officials expect at least an 86% return rate. They anticipate counting about 90,000 ballots today. So the work is far from done there. Wow, mm -hmm. 90,000 ballots that still need to be counted. I imagine it would be interesting. I mean, a lot of races, I mean, are clearly already decided. Yeah. So it would be interesting as someone who is counting ballots to just know, why am I still counting <laughs> I this? We already know who won. But again, I, I mean, we're doing it the right way. Yep. Good thing there haven't been any problems, uh, significant yeah. problems. So far, yeah. yeah Keep our been, fingers there's crossed. There's been no controversy. All right, no controversy. Where Mark's at, you're at Sherry's, and Republicans being kind of quiet. Democrats yeah. are asleep from their celebration. I think that's exactly it, Mike. I think maybe they stayed up late. I was watching seven different channels last night. Four years after their first race ended bitterly in court, Democratic Governor Christine Gregoire has pulled away in the polls from Republican challenger Dino Rossi. With thousands of ballots still to be counted, Rossi said he is not giving up just yet. KXY 4's Cherson Ram joins us live in Cherston. How is this race shaping up at this hour? To the state. Back to you. Cherson, just to clarify, because your mic went out there for a second, uh, he has not conceded just yet, right? That's correct. At this point, uh, only 55% of the precincts are reporting. However, uh, nationally, Governor Gregoire has been projected as the winner in this election. All right, Cherson, looking forward to uh, you continuing to follow this story. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. The House and the Senate and the White House, they are now controlled by Democrats. Gains were made in both branches, and with those results, we're joined now by KXLY 4's Colleen O'Brien. And Colleen, Democrats still, they did not get to that magic 60-vote majority, right? Yeah, that's correct. Absolutely. 4,000 votes, but this race right now, still too close to call. So that is a very close race there in District 2. And interesting that he touched on the economy. That has been a huge issue. In fact, people were saying last night, ex experts were saying last night, that that's a big reason that o McCain didn't walk away with the win. They were saying that as soon as the economy came a factor, as soon as we saw the big collapse yeah. in recent weeks, that's when Obama made the jump. You mentioned that the AP did an exit poll of like 10,000 voters. Over 70% said that was the biggest issue in this particular campaign. All right, we're going to toss it out to Mark Peterson. He's been trying to catch up with some folks out there. I know it seems like Republicans are a little disappointed. You're trying to catch up with Democrats who I think were celebrating last night and I haven't did. showed that's, up. That's got to be it. In fact, I just asked gentleman over here the first words out of his mouth is no comment. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We're back with Michael Foley from hand-to-hand -hand combat and post falls. We're lear learning the windmill technique. He's been practicing with me, and this is really easy yeah. yet effective. I, oh, like, yeah. I really like this move. So say I'm coming in, I'm going to get a hold of you right in here, okay? Take a good step across, so wham, windmill around, then and boom. Right in on that elbow. And I could tell you, I've been, I, <laughs> when I used to box a little bit, this guy hit me in the kidney one time. I went down because yeah, it yeah. hurts right in the ribs, too. Oh, I know. And also, you we learned. From the back. So this one, step around, bam, grab, and then. And right up into the head. I really like this backwards move because, uh, you know, you figure, Somebody normally is going to attack you from the back. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? So, over there? wham, and right into it. I Woo, feel like Steven Seagal this morning. I know we're doing a little Bruce Lee uh, e action here. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't ask him who he voted for because then he gets really mad and he will use well, the windmill I'll technique. Demonstrate a lot on you. <laughs> What's going? Tell people how they can get in contact with you real quickly in Post Falls if they want to join your class. Okay. Well, we're we're Post Falls right there off of uh, the main drive, Celtis. 
Uh, you can get a hold of us by going to our website, www.h number two hctc.com mm -hmm. or uh, just you know look us up in the phone book we're in there all right join his class or else or else all right michael appreciate <laughs> you being with us michael all foley right, from hand-to-hand -hand combat and post falls i've got a new technique this morning straight ahead we've got more make it count election coverage thanks for being with us all right see that one again here we go Come around. this portion of the program is brought to you by family home care